Welcome to a brand new video. Today I am going to show you how you can install PopOS on your PC. PopOS is a popular Linux distribution. It is built on top of Ubuntu and is designed to be user-friendly, fast, and customizable. In this video, I am going to guide you through the installation of PopOS. So, let's get started. First, you need the PopOS ISO file. Go to PopOS's official website and download the ISO file. I will put the link in the description. After downloading the ISO file, you need to create a bootable USB flash drive to boot from. You can use Rufus or Bellina Etcher to create a bootable USB drive. Or you can create a cool multi-boot USB drive using Ventoe. I made a video of that, you can go and check that out. The video link will be in the description. I am using Bellina Etcher to create a bootable USB drive. Follow the link in the description box to download Bellina Etcher. After downloading Bellina Etcher, open up the downloaded folder and right-click the window then open terminal. Type this command in the terminal. Now go to the properties of Bellina Etcher. Go to permission and make sure to check allow executing file as program. Now run Bellina Etcher. Make sure to insert your USB drive. Click Flash from File. Select the Pop OS ISO. Now select the USB drive you want to create as a bootable USB drive. Now hit Flash. Enter your password. Now wait while Bellina Etcher completes the flashing process and verifies the media. Now, that our bootable media is ready, we need to go to the BIOS and boot from it. This is the Pop OS installer. Select your desired language. Select your keyboard layout. This part is critical. If you want to do a clean install, select Clean Install. Make sure you have backed up all your data. This will delete all the files and install Pop OS. If you are planning to dual booting Pop OS alongside Windows, I have written a step-by-step -step guide on my website. Check the link in the video description. Select Clean Install. Select the drive where you want to install Pop OS. Click Erase and Install. Enter your user details. Here you can encrypt the drive. Check the mark if you want to encrypt. After that wait for the installation to be completed. Alright, the installation is completed. It took around 15 minutes to complete the installation. Click restart device to restart the PC. This is the welcome page of Pop OS. Here you can select your preferred layout. Click Next. Here you can configure the top bar. Click Next. Here you can use the super key to search and switch application. If you are running a laptop you can use gestures for easier navigation. Select your preferred mode and click Next. If you want you can enable location services. Select your time zone. You can also connect your online accounts if you want. Pop OS is installed successfully. I hope you find this helpful. If you have any issues installing Pop OS, you can comment down below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more Linux videos.
You can also check out bestlinuxdistro.com for more Linux articles. And stay tuned for the next video.